Uh, once you guys get out, um, Charlie, you probably are able to go about your dice for a while. Uh, honestly, it's probably around the time you go into the office. Nigel will have headed there as well. Alright. No. Oh. Uh, Charlie has to go to speak to Dad, of course. Mm-hmm. Get his, like, mind raped by Dad a couple times and leave. <laughs> um... And it's, it's probably, I want to say, a couple, like, a day after session, maybe two? Um, it's probably, like, two or three, because E-class e- remember. Yeah, really E-class is about two days. Well, then after E-class, probably a day after E-class. Okay. Because, like, Nigel will hang out in there, but he's not saying anything. He'll be actually uncharacteristically quiet for a little while. Where he All just right. hangs out on the couch. Um... And then a train comes by. Uh, probably same day, actually. You know, so he 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 will be have been hanging out on the couch for a while, uh, okay. slowly nursing the damaged leg. And he'll uh, after just a, a kind of out of nowhere, since it, I imagine Charlie's fine with keeping silence. Um, yeah, he'll just say. Thank you, by the way. Hmm? He looks up. Thank, thank me for what? I'll miss you. You don't have to uh, do you, what you did. Wasn't oh. technically part of the mission quota. He shrugs and says, would have been a waste of an asset. <laughs> Fair enough. But you are welcome. Mm-hmm. He, like, eats whatever, like, little bit of food he has with him. And then says... It would have been much harder to deal with those things by myself. Far enough. Well, you're pretty proficient with a gun. Yes, but... For their size, we did move pretty quickly. I'm sure they could have gotten through the hallway, up the stairwell, and then who knows where. Suppose so. That was a rather close call then, huh? I would say. He pats his leg lightly. And then Charlie will then say, So what did you see? Fondly. Nods his head. And that's why, well, we need to be careful around these sorts of things that use what we care about. It's a cheap fucking tactic, is what it is. It is. Hello. Hello. Okay. They've been threatened. Um, what was the last thing I said? That was said? Um, well, you said that it's just, you know, a shit tactic they use, and Charlie was like, that is. Oh, yeah. It's just. He hasn't stopped smiling the entire time. Charlie will then say, it's been kind of nice with you being so quiet, been able to think for once. <laughs> Don't get too used to it. I'll bounce back, I always do. That uh, you do. You seem to already be ba- bouncing back now. Just forget all should say something. I mean, I'm sure you'd be more than content with me keeping the silence, but you deserve it. You deserve a thank you. Charlie shrugs. Just doing my job. You did more than your job. Well, I must aim to be exceptional. Well, that's all we're here for, isn't it? Prove why we're exceptional. Yep. We'll have to try harder. Cash rugs a bit. Maybe I've lost my mind. I 
Well, puts the files, his files away in the desk and says, I'm going to eat something other than a granola bar. Are you going to wallow in your misery here? Or wallow your misery elsewhere? Was on the invitation. Take it as you want. He'll walk out. <laughs> he'll, he'll laugh to himself and get up and follow Charlie. Well, yeah, Charlie just goes to a fucking cat canteen. Grab some food, even though, you know, he knows Nigel's not going to grab food once he makes it himself. Mm-hmm. Or gets one of the other chefs to make it for him. No, he'll make it himself. He cooks. Oh. I just imagine Nigel just, like, butts back there, makes his own food, leaves. <laughs> pretty much. He's pretty much like, okay, where's the stove or where's the microwave? <laughs> All the chefs look apart as you, like, use a microwave to, like, cook stuff. Like, oh my god. That's when he's on a. That's when he's in a bind. Usually he'll cook for himself, though. And Charlie just eats some like actual food. Like normally he just eats rabbit food, but today he's eating eat, like an actual meal. <laughs> Celebration. Well, I do need to catch up on my calories after a mission. <laughs> You're so dedicated to that diet, yours. Someone has to be. Might as well be me. Fair enough. I was probably going vegetarian. Disgusting. Oh, thank god I thought I lost you. <laughs> I may eat mostly vegetables, but I do enjoy meat. Well, it's protein. It's good for you. It's needed. Absolutely. I can't imagine just surviving off a mix of face of beans. Nor could I. I wouldn't want you to be surviving off of beans, Nigel. I think I need to change offices. <laughs> I will never do that to you, I promise. I'll never do that to me. You know how much I love least, myself. <laughs> at least you have your priorities straight. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, he, he, uh, at this point, will he have had time to cook uh, something for himself quick, or was it a matter of just hanging out? Probably. You just answered a multiple choice question with probably. <laughs> probably is in yes. Yeah, probably. Like, N- Nigel wouldn't eat until you're done. <laughs> he's oh. a very, he's a very proper boy like that. Okay. Like he, like, he wouldn't eat until you sit down to eat your food. Okay. Like, until then he, he just, you know, dabbed his vitamins over at the machine, drank his vitamins, went back. Oh, okay. Well then. I don't know what shows on this food. It's probably something, you know, something not as diet uh, oriented. No, like, no, not, not unhealthy, but it's like fucking probably hash browns and something else. So like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like fucking Reggie. Yeah. Just like, I'm just gonna grab like 12 cheeseburgers, thank you. It's like my metabolism's insane. This or I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like walks over. Is that a salad? Yeah, someone, yeah, no man. Just like puts down, eats chili. This is where I get my vegetable intake. Chili, yeah, man. It's like 90% vegetable in here, but man, at 10% beef is pretty great. <laughs> eats. <laughs> and, then, and, and then he looks at everyone. Beans counts as a vegetable, right? <laughs> Oh, then it's like 50% vegetable, maybe less. I was getting there, buddies. Beans are protein. Someone's voice wraiths on the wind. <laughs> Fucking. Reggie doesn't know the difference between food. He's like, this food tastes good, this food doesn't taste good. <laughs> this food smells funny, but it tastes good. <laughs> that other food, smooth food smells funny, but it didn't taste good. It's a little bit of- I just shit on it. I don't think you should have ate it. My name's Reggie. Doesn't fit in my mouth good. 
my name's Reggie. The that extra cake slice is mine. <laughs> looks looks over to someone. You gonna you gonna finish that stew over there? No, they say. Takes it. Thanks. <laughs> Slowly slides it towards him. Nice. <laughs> Uh, Raph, I see. I see you, uh, sir, uh, Rafe. I see you made a bunch of mini burgers. I'm just going to take all of those. Who are they for? For me, myself, my and I, and maybe like two friends. Take them. Take. I just I make a triple dot. Who are they for? Triple dot. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like one day someone made like just various finger foods where you came in with a bowl like you know no, sorry a bucket and just like <laughs> just left. and then he just went to the MTF lounge just ate it all and then Bishop was giving a very important speech and he was just eating this food <laughs> fucking Bonnie was eating it with him because she also has a ridiculous metabolism <laughs> a giant merit man does shit to you <laughs> Continue eating. Um, Nigel will bring up random conversation topics as they come by or are relevant. <laughs> He'll probably also be like, you, you seen the new robot? Yay. Yeah. Alright. Charlie is more happy to just remain your questions as they come. <laughs> Yes. You seen the new robot? Yeah. On the right of New what? Robot. The uh, pony. You, you, you cut off. Help me. Can you hear me? I can. Okay. Uh, he asked if you've seen the new robot yet. Oh. Did, uh, I, did I cut off again? He. No, you didn't. He, he blurts out uh, pony's number. That one. Possible? Got a good memory. I do. But I have seen it. Yes, I have seen it. I have interacted with it, and it has stopped. It has what? So I, I apologize. Stopped interacting with me. I can only assume that it is given up learning about me. <laughs> Fortunate for you in your mind, I imagine, huh? Yes. It's a weird thing, I can't decide what I think of it yet. Looks that thin line. Steps out of that line, though, and they'll have to deal with me. Nods his head. And it does walk the thin line of being an SCP and not being an SCP. That's for life. You're talking about correct. Of course it is. My well, point is that the difference between it, you know, it's just it's an AI, I guess. Hmm. So, if our latest member of the MTF team is an SCP or not, I hope not. The one we worked with. Yes. They don't seem to have any special qualities, but, well, it seems that a decent portion of the staff here happen to be SCPs or skips, as you call them. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of those around here, isn't there? <laughs> that there is. Useless. Have you had the talk with, uh, Queen yet? I haven't gone around to talking there. Seems like the two of us are on opposite schedules. Well, that seems like a problem for you. It is a problem for me. I want to talk there. Oh, I am sure she's free now. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> he gets up. Hint, I can all leave you to it. <laughs> he nods his head, finishes his meal. Puts that shit away, even he goes off to go do his routine of spook. Routine of what? Spooky? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just like walks around the base fucking with people. Basically, it's like looking around at people. <laughs> Stuff. You can go see if you can go for it. 
Lara, which I'll talk to Jordan about later. Oh, huzzah. <laughs> <laughs>